and welcome back to Bowing Lights for Old Time Fiddle. So this is our third episode, and today we're going to revisit the first episode. If you recall, in that episode we were doing the circle bowing on the downstroke, short strokes, which look like this. Okay, so today we're going to reverse everything. So we're going to do short strokes, but we're going to start on the up. So we're going to do something like this. Up, down, up, down, up. Okay. And then we're going to add our pulses in the same places, but they're going to be on the opposite side. So we're going to be doing, we're going in the opposite direction. So we're going to be doing an up with a pulse and then a down all by itself. So that's the top of our circle. And from the fiddler's perspective, that, that circle is going clockwise. All right. So let me do it for you all together. So we start on the up. Okay, so let's turn on the bowing lights and see if I can get anything like a, a decent circle. Okay, so that makes three patterns that we've done. The, the, we started with our counterclockwise circle. Uh, the second episode we did our uh, infinity bowing, and the third now is the counterclockwise, or clockwise circle, excuse me. Um, there's a there's an exercise you can do to get all three of these, or at least parts of all three. Um, so what you can do is do a couple of the of the circles, then you can do about half of infinity. Go around, describe the outside of a circle, and then as you come back up, start going the other direction for the clockwise circles. So counterclockwise, go around. Sometimes I get confused because I look at my hand and I can't tell which way I'm going. Um, and you might experience the same thing, or maybe you won't. In any case, here it is again. Okay, so give that a try. Now... I understand we might actually want to get to some fiddling at some point, so um, that exercise will set you up very nicely for next week's uh, episode where we're going to take that same piece and we're going to put them together, these pieces, and we're going to make a, a, a full pattern that you might use in a, in a fiddle tune, and then we'll try to apply it, okay? So I've really enjoyed the, the feedback and the reactions that people have given me, and I do have some requests that have come in, and I promise you I will do my best to get those to those as soon as I can. All right, have, have a great week practicing, and I'll see you next week.